Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. So, oh my god, it feels like I've not vlogged for ages now, but oh my god, like I have vlogs, but I just haven't edited the vlogs yet, so maybe that's the reason why I feel like I haven't vlogged in ages, but I need to take a shower now. Yes, I've had a haircut yesterday. It looks really good. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna take a shower right now and then get dressed, and hopefully I'll go out today because it's like really sunny out today, so I'll try and find somewhere to go out in. And then that's the day, guys. Alright, so I need to tidy my room because my room looks horrendous right now. So I'm going to tidy my room up and then um, get dressed. And then I want to go shopping today because I need to get some summer clothes and stuff. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I may as well make a day of it as well. So I might just go out for the day. So um, that's after I clean my room though because my room looks a tip. Okay, so yes, I'm dressed now, ready to go out. But first of all, I need to wash the tan in the kitchen as well because I made carbonara last night when I went to work and then I thought, oh, well, when I come over from work, I'll have the energy to tidy up and all that. But I didn't and I fell asleep, so um, this was what was left overnight. So need to tidy that up. So this is going to be really fun trying to wash these dishes. So yeah. Okay, so I've managed to clean the kitchen. Looks as good as new, but the one thing I learned today, which I learned the hard way, is that you should never leave spaghetti carbonara overnight because one, it takes bloody ages to scrub the pans and stuff, and also it smelt horrible of like day old cheese sauce. Like, I had to literally screw up the kitchen with like every inch of my life to try and get rid of the smell of stale cheese, so not the best, but you know. Anyways, so now I've just got these dishes now ready to dry when I get back, but um, we're all good now. Anyways, off to the pool go for shopping. Goodbye. Did I just like queue up in like a mile long queue just to get a yellow jacket? I'm sure did. Okay, so I've just been to the Starbucks for a coffee break right now, so I'm off shopping right now, so um, it's very awkward to like record while it's like a huge massive crowd. Um, like, yum, 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 but um, I'm trying to do it, so. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to go shopping for a bit and then I'm going to go on the Albert Dock to see what's there. And hopefully there's like a boat thing there because I remember, like, I think it was like during the summer last year, I went to the Albert Dock and there's like a boat which like took you around the pool, like around like the sea area and stuff. So I'd love to jump on that again, but we'll see. But you know, right now I'm just enjoying shopping and doing all the things. So even if it takes like 20 minutes to queue. Uh, a yellow jacket, a crab mark, it's still all good. I'm at the bar, I'm at the Albert Dock, I've arrived at the Albert Dock now, so um, I'm going to go look around here now. I might go to the museum, do a bit more shopping here because like loads of like, independent small businesses I want to go to um, to see what's there because I feel like it's important sometimes to support your local businesses, so I'm going to do that. But. Um, I can see what museum stuff here because, um, yeah. I'm oh, okay, so I just like went to this like shop. I have like a shop like full of all things that look cool. You have like fridge magnets, these like buses, and these like jumpers and stuff as well. Oh god, it actually is really good. Okay, I found the Ferris wheel. Which I wanted to go on last time I was here, but it was closed. So now it's open, so I want to actually go on it. So I think I went to the Ferris wheel similar to that in during like last Christmas, I think. And it was actually really good. It was a bit scary at first, but it was actually really good. So I'm going to go on this one. So yeah, I'm going to pair it now and then. Hopefully it's not too busy, and then I'll get on it. I'm on the Ferris wheel. 
Okay, I must admit, I am a bit, I am getting a bit, I don't know, but it'll be fine, but um, it just takes so out to know as well, like, you wouldn't think that we're going to take places like all the towers or anything like that, like, where I love going like the Smiler or any other like fast high roller coaster and I'm like completely fine with it, but then when I go like, like, like a Ferris wheel, which is like a slow kind of ride, like, I'm getting kind of scared of it, but it's all good though. Um, so yeah, and why is this her just hanging out? I have no idea. Goodbye. I went on the Ferris wheel, it wasn't too bad, even though like I remember like the second time round when I like went up and like started creaking and the thing started juddering, I was like, oh my god, what's happening here? <laughs> like I was like really paranoid, but um it was actually really good, so um yeah, quite a good ride if you wanna just do something, but the price for like extortionate in my opinion, like it cost me about ten pounds just to go on this like wheel. And I read somewhere like if you want like the VIP like with like champagne and food and stuff like costs like seventy pounds. And I think per person that's also a bit expensive, but um, the views kind of worth it. So yeah, right now though I'm gonna explore some more things and I need to find somewhere to eat because um, I'm getting really hungry. Like I had a Starbucks for like I had like a cookie and a coffee. Okay, right, so I'm editing this vlog right now and. I think I'm thinking the same as you guys as to like wondering why half my head's like chopped off in this like recording but um, I don't know why either like I don't know why I vlog and then like record stuff with like the entirety of my head like not on camera like I don't know I really need to work on my vlogging skills because um, this looks a hot mess with just my eyes but um, enjoy this shot anyways. Put me on so I can like eat something but I think the time has come now to find some more tweet but I'm gonna go look in some more shops and then get some tweets. Oh my god look at this like cute doggy. It looks so cute. Okay so I'm back now and didn't film the rest of that trip but I had a early tea, I went to this like place where they sold noodles and olives and things like that and that was really good but now I'm back now and oh my god okay so I didn't get as much product as I thought I would get today but it's okay at least I got to look around the pool and do all the things so I'm gonna do a shopping haul for you guys so let's get started so first of all I got this yellow jacket from Primark so this thing was about eight pounds so it's actually quite cheap and it looks nice so can't wait to wear it. I, I've like always wanted to get like a coloured jacket for ages. And then next up I got this shot glass so so I've always wanted to get like shot glasses for the off chance I actually drink because I'm not a person who really drinks alcohol. Sometimes I'll drink it as like a one off but it's not often. So I've got this like shot glass and it looks as cute as it gets. Um, but it could fit some drinks in there and I'll be able to shot it and do all the things. And it's actually got British boobies and knickers as well so it can be quite fitting for the Queen's Jubilee. So I've got this thing from somewhere called The Best of Liverpool or whatever its name is. I don't know but I'll put the shop name on the screen so you guys can like see it because I got a load of things from like small independent businesses which I thought would be nice to promote so um, yeah so I got it from the shop which I put on the screen. And then next up I went to a shop called Nature's Treasure and I got this like crystal but it's not here with me right now because I bought it but then when I went home on the train I put everything in the like brown Primark bag and the one thing I hate about the paper Primark bag is is that if that thing touches water it rips apart and the crystal fell at the train station as I found out when I had to open the ripped bag when I got home. So that was a waste of three pounds, but so it was supposed to be a dyed amethyst, whatever it's called, it says it here. So it's meant to be known as a powerful protection stone, which is said to calm mental and emotional distress. Believed to help release tension and reduce pain and headaches. When placed under the pillow, it is said to give a good night's sleep. And so it's like this like blue, like 
stone kind of thing. I was about to collect crystals, and it was like this like blue stone thing, but obviously it's not here with me, but I managed to keep this little thing, so um, yeah. And then that's about it really, so I didn't really go like shopping shopping. I had a look in loads of shops, but I didn't really buy anything, but it was worth it out, so um, yeah, but now I'm back home now, so I'm gonna edit some videos. Um, and try and get my life together basically because um, I've been kind of a hot mess recently. Um, I've been very disorganised, been very sort of, I don't know, but tonight's the night where that changes and I um, try and get my whole life together so um, we'll see if that happens. Okay, what is up? It is half ten right now and I'm about to make some Angel Delights. I don't know guys, I don't know what's with me nowadays and my addiction to Angel Delight. Like I bought a packet of Angel Delight the other week actually and it's just now turning into like a daily occurrence that I have Angel Delights. Well not daily but almost daily. So with that being said I'm going to make a good old Angel Delight because I deserve it even though I did nothing today but shop and um, do all the things which I love doing so I don't know why I'm saying I deserve it but I do because it's Saturday and yeah. Oh, why is it so dusty? Yeah, you know, this thing's like smoky, so dust. I'm getting a huge like chocolate dusting on my finger. Oh my god, why is it so dusty and so cloudy? <laughs> this thing's so cloudy and so dusty. Like, what the hell? Now time for my pant of milk. I don't know why I say a pint of milk. Like I know it is like a pint of milk, but like a pint in like a pint glass, but it's not like you'll say you'll have, you'll have a pint of milk, like you say, I'll have a pint of beer please. Like, I don't know where that came from. And she goes. And then I'll whisk this thing up into a lovely chocolatey mousse. Okay, so here's what the angel light looks like. Tasty as ever. Yes, this is so freaking good. Okay, so I've just ate my Angel Delight. It tastes so good. Oh my god. Okay, so just did that, but oh my god, guys, like, I have literally a funny story. So I'm washing some clothes right now um, because I decided to just wash all my clothes right now to one, get some washing done, and two, wash through the nights so and it could be cheaper to wash because it's more cheap to wash clothes at night rather than daytime. Not sure why, but it is, so I'm doing it right now. But so I put my clothes in the washer, put the washer on, did all the things, the washer turned on and water was flowing, and I went upstairs to put my laundry basket away and sort my room out and I could literally hear this like whistling sound so I was like oh my god like it literally like scared life at me at first I was like oh my god what's going on like it's like scary like whistling sound so I heard like a like sound so I was like what the hell's going on here so I went downstairs and then it didn't whistle anymore so I was like okay and then I realised that the washer does that thing anyway because my washing machine's like really loud, so it makes those kind of sounds like all the time when you're washing, so I just don't know why I got scared of the whistling when it does that like all the time, so anyway, that's a funny story, but um, yeah, I think I'm going to end this vlog here now, guys. Hope you guys liked watching this little vlog, um, don't forget to subscribe, turn on all, all the notifications like my videos, do all the things, clean your holes, clean everywhere, I don't know, just do all the things, I don't know what I'm saying here, but um, yeah, I'll see you guys in another vlog or another video, who knows, but you'll catch me nowadays, and yeah, bye, I need sleep, and also, you get a nice shot of my armpit hairs, goodbye.